Intel's Arc Alchemist graphics card performance and price positioning slide has been leaked out, showing the Nvidia and AMD GPUs the lineup will be competing against. The leaked slide, which originally appeared on the Baidu forums, showcases where Intel is targeting its Intel Arc Alchemist DG2 GPUs. According to the slide, the lineup will include at least four models, but due to the current sources and what we think, there are at least five models being prepared. The slide showcases that the high end or performance GPUs will be targeting the performance plus or enthusiast markets, while Intel's entry level GPUs will be targeting the mainstream and mainstream plus markets. The performance plus market means the price range of $300 up to $399. Why the enthusiast market is the range 400 to 499 price range. This means that anyone looking for an RTX 3070 or Radeon RX 6700 XT, which are still very tough to find in the current GPU market, may want to look in, into Intel's Alchemist GPUs and see if they're an option for their next gaming setup or as a potential upgrade to their current gaming setup. The slide appears a little old as the Alchemist branding is nowhere to be seen which was recently announced by Intel. These Intel Arc Alchemist GPUs will feature the SOC1, which could be the internal codename for the Alchemist 512 EU chip. This chip has a TDP range of 175 watts all the way up to 225 watts. With that said, let's talk about the upper echelon of the lineup, which will feature the Enthusiast 400 to 499 and the Performance Plus, the 300 to 399 graphics cards. The Enthusiast part will tackle the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and the AMD Radeon 6700 XT. Do note that Intel doesn't plan to launch an Enthusiast Plus contender in its first generation of Arc lineup, as that will be reserved for the next generation. This means that the top graphics cards from both NVIDIA and AMD will remain completely uncontested. Moving on to the lower end segment, this is one place where Intel may hit AMD and Nvidia the hardest, considering that both GPU manufacturers haven't released many sub $300 graphics cards to the market. The mainstream segment will feature the SoC2, which is most likely the Alchemist 128 EU GPU, which features a TDP of 75 watts and up. The ARC graphics cards based on this chip will be featuring in the mainstream plus, roughly $150, to $200 price range, and then mainstream, which is $100 to $150 segment. Both AMD and Nvidia do have the chips to launch an entry level segment, but they are being pushed to send those chips first to notebooks and laptops. If launched prior to quarter one of 2022, entry level ARC GPUs will tackle with AMD's Navi 24 and Nvidia's GA107 GPUs. Although those models may end up being over $200 in pricing, considering where the mainstream cards are currently featured. A major lead that Intel could have over the competition Competition, especially NVIDIA, is AI assistance in super sampling technologies. Intel has already showcased an impressive demo of its XESS technology. And based on the expected numbers, Intel's GPU could potentially outperform NVIDIA's Tensor Core implementation, or DLSS, with its XMX architecture. Intel is also expected to feature a small but useful game cache on its GPUs and will be equipped with a higher VRAM capacities of up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory across a 256 bit bus interface. This would be twice as much memory as Nvidia's RTX 3070 and RTX 3070 Ti. We've seen the Intel XE HPG Alchemist GPU based discrete graphics card engineering sample leak out a few months back, along with some rumored pricing and performance figures. Based on the timeline though, the Alchemist lineup will compete against Nvidia's Ampere and AMD's RDNA 2 GPUs, since both companies aren't expected to launch their next gen models until the end of next year, 2022. The Arc GPUs will be coming to the mobility platform too, and will be featured in Alder Lake P notebooks. What do you think? Will Intel's upcoming graphics card upset the current GPU market with competitive pricing and fantastic performance? or will they all be snatched up by scalpers first? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.